It's Halloween time and it's time for us to do another DIY. We are going to turn these flamingos into vultures. And we're going to decorate our uh, front yard with them. First, we're going to spray paint them all black. And we put the wood behind it so we don't get a lot That's of cardboard. spray anywhere. I mean, cardboard. do two for demonstration purposes. That's the spray paint we got. You can get it at Walmart. The flamingos we got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, now we turn around to the other side. We're going to paint this side of the flamingos. These are going to look so cool. And it's so easy to do. It's something that you can do with your family, you know, a little do-it-yourself project with your kids. They can see how to do things. As they get older, they'll want to do things on their own. It's nice to have do yourself because it just makes you feel better, like, oh, I made that. still rolling. All right, so the next part is while the flamingos are drying, we're going to take this. We got a boa at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's got white feathers. We're going to take a piece and cut about four inches. About four inches there. And that is to go around the neck of the flamingo that we're turning into a vulture. So these are dry, and they do look a little bit dull. And the quick way to fix that is just do another coat. This is a acrylic paint flamingo red. We're going to use it for the vulture's beak. Then we take the white gloss acrylic paint and use it for the eyes. And that's what it look like. So we just use this black acrylic paint for the eyes. And that's how it turns out. So we just got this spread piece of from Walmart. You can get it at your local Walmart. And we're going to spray it on the feathers and put it around the vulture's neck. Now here's the finished product. Now that's the vulture we finished. And that's the flamingo we started off with. Now thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. Make sure you stay tuned for more Halloween do-it-yourself products.